Okay. All right. So, okay. So now that we have put everything in perspective, let me get the audience to calm down here. Let me get the audience to calm down. Today we have a debate between the 10th grade and the 11th grade. The debate is about the protesters. The blue group of the 11th grade says, I'm sorry, the orange group, I'm sorry, the purple group of the 10th grade has said that these protesters are sore losers. Sore losers who can't handle losing an election. But the blue group of the 11th grade says, no, these protesters are patriots. They only want to make things better. Well, let us see who is correct. Let, let us begin now. Let me have the purple group of the 10th grade and the blue group of the 11th grade. Come on up. Let's debate this issue. Okay. <clears throat> okay, in our customary fashion, of course, the blue group of the 11th grade will go first. Each group, each team, will have four minutes <coughs> to state their introduction. Audience, I need, you, I need the audience to calm down. All right. Okay, let us begin. Blue group, four minutes. because they thought that Hillary was going to make America a better place. Since she presented that uh, for her plan, she was gonna, uh, it was going to be consisted of lowering student debt, criminal justice reform, <coughs> campaign finance reform, improving health care, and uh, women's rights, which was sourced from Clinton's campaign site. Unlike Trump, she didn't mention building a wall and putting in Mexicans and Muslims behind the wall. During the campaign time, uh, protesters around the country from New York to, to Chicago to California in red state and as well as blue hundreds, hundreds of uh, demonstrators uh, marched through streets mm -hmm. in a non-violent way protesting against them for American safety um, on November 11 a source by Yahoo a little girl said I quote as a white queer person we need unity with people of color we need to stand up said Claire by a 15 year old sophomore at Academy High School I'm fighting for my right as an American. I'm fighting for the rights of brown people, black people, and Muslim people. Mostly peaceful, patriotic protests <coughs> took place throughout America. In Los Angeles, city news service reported that dozens of protesters were arrested around midnight when they refused to budge from an area. As expected, the demonstrations prompted some social media blowback from Trump supporters accusing protesters of sour grace or worse. But though there were no significant counter protests, Trump supporters said the protests uh, were not uh, respecting the democratic process. So most of the process, <laughs> the process were um, patriotic since they had no uh, um, crime, no violence, and uh, they were all just uh, like, like holding like signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, um, <coughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Thank you. I'm done. Okay. 
Uh, the purple group this grade you have four minutes. The testing is a way to inject against the government political political protesting is a two edged sword that can be both the blessing and the the bane of a free society. In other words, it is an objection to what someone probably the authority has said or done. <coughs> and every citizen has, has the right to vote. They protest to get their rights back. People argue at whether these protesters are patriots or so losers. <laughs> Okay, so this is the end of round one. Let me get both teams to go back to their tables and have a few minutes. <laughs> Okay. Hello, audience. I need to tell you very carefully. You need to listen, audience. Before we get started with round two, audience, supporters of the team, I will automatically give the round to the uh, to the team who is distracted by the supporters of another team. Right now, we are at a tie as we go into round two. So keep that in mind. I need the blue group of the 11th grade and the purple group of the 10th grade. Come on back up. Let's start round two. Audience. Audience. Okay, we began with the blue group of the 11th grade in the last round. This round we're going to begin with the purple group of the 10th grade. You got four minutes. Okay. We can't probably say that all protests are either are either sore losers or or passive. They're equal. Okay. You said you said that Americans went went and uh, rebelled. You said that Americans don't turn out against Trump because he's a racist or whatever, and because he's a racist, and that he wants to build a bridge uh, in Mexico so that he can, so that he wouldn't let Mexican people come in America. Right? 
He is not a racist. He just wants he just wants to defend his country. <laughs> okay? From anyone that wants to get in. He also said he wouldn't let Syrian refugees get in the country. Um because he wants to defend it and he doesn't know anyone's identity. Not because he hates Muslims or that he's a racist. His behavior is just to keep people who smuggle drugs or even kill it. He is not an anti-immigrant. He is an anti-illegal immigrant. He should deal with immigrants just as the American citizen. And as for the Syrian refugees, again, goes to the same matter as that he doesn't know the identity of these people and wouldn't let anyone come to the country to cause more trouble than there actually is. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Purple Group of the 10th grade. Blue Group of the 11th grade, you have four minutes. Okay, hello everyone. So today, um, Sarah is here and I'm presenting to the Blue Group, uh, grade 11, for the second round. Okay, let's, let's start out with saying the definition of a teacher. A teacher is a person who supports their country and is prepared to defend it against the enemy. In this case, they are against Trump because they think he will make it worse when they're trying to make it better. First reason that they're patriots is because they know what they will face of threats and abuses. The Boston Globe states, lucky ones will only be ridiculed by this candidate and have their anti-Trump sign yanked out and torn to pieces. At worst, they will highly be criticized and insulted in a racist manner, getting manhandled by the security guards and punched hardly. And also, uh, the people who are protesting against the tr uh, against in front of the Trump Tower, they got arrested. To conclude, even though the Patriots are getting harmed for the sake of their country, yes, they still protest and stand for their country's rights because they love it. The second reason that the protesters are Patriots are being abused and not reacting. Rainy Graham at the Boston Globe declared, protesters attempting to shut down Donald Trump's rallies aren't thugs but are in fact Patriots. He painted a picture of non-violent protesters courageously entering a Trump rally arenas and facing racist, invective, ridiculed sucker punches, not because they oppose Trump, but for the sake of their country. The third reason is because they're not scared of the attack and they're not armed. He says, armed with nothing more than the unshakable certainty that their nation will collapse under the weight of Trump's immutable ego. They walk into arenas where they will be met with scorn, dishonestly, Suddenly, a uh, frightful time demands more than just hashtags, and these protesters have replaced themselves on the front line. He adds, a true patriot knows that for America to be great, it must be wrested away from his being. Empty man who believes in nothing but himself. In the first round, you said that every citizen has the right to vote. Okay, they can vote, but since Americans have freedom of expression, so losers have a freedom of vote but no right of getting angry at other citizens and they can't object other different opinions because everyone has the freedom of expression. Second of all, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you're giving the wrong definition of a, pe of a sore loser and you are arguing for our position. And now you just said that they're equal. How are they equal? But like, how are they equal? Since sore losers are using violence and patriots are not. They're armed with nothing. He said he is not a racist. He's seeking out Mexicans even though his wife is a Mexican. <laughs> you are arguing about racism. And finally, you're arguing about racism. It's not about racism. Thank you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 